Good evening, it is 10 past 6 in the evening of Saturday, the 4th of January, and it is time for Today in My Boo Journal. So, how are you? Are you alright? What have you been up to? I hope you are good now. Yesterday I posted my square tracker, which was awesome. So, I wore my day face cream, I wore makeup, I did the challenges. I had one can or less, I did not have booze. I did have chips. Yes, I had pasty and chips. I crafted, we did some reading, I took my meds. And I did my night care routine. Right, in a minute. I did that. Steps. 15,171. As you can see, I've added in some tabs. Yay! And there's, you can't see it very well, but there's something with a little bit of decoration as well. So yes, we've got a tag for January here and then a tag for my weeks so that does it's a very elaborate wk um one to five i'm sitting thinking about how i'm gonna um do the weeks whether i'm gonna split them because it's all gonna be in this one book so i may not split up my weeks at the end of the month i may just put them in whichever month has the most of the of, of that week sort of thing you know like january has i think it's four or five days for January yeah so I would put from the 27th until the 2nd in one week rather than doing this where I split like this. it just seems a bit of a waste otherwise I've got sort of two days you know hanging about okay so um, I just did the dishwasher yesterday I did not do the microwave and I didn't clean the kitchen last night um, Daryl had a bit of a bad night so yeah I was with him and right this I sorted out the groups and I returned Alex's knee pads because they were the wrong size lovely so let's change the pen hi hi how are you how are you <laughs> you alright yeah it's time to day in Mum's Boo Journal. Yeah, time for today in my Boo Journal. And guess what we do at the end? What do we do at the end? Put thumbs up. Yeah. Click the book. Uh huh. And you click the bell, subscribe down below. And know if when you are new, new, new content. Lovely. <coughs> That's for. And you have to leave us kisses. You have to leave us all kisses, YouTube. Okay, so I have oh. put down the day face cream. I'm in there. Um, oh. I'm about to do the challenges. I've had less than one can, and I've not had any oh. booze. I've had chips, red games. <coughs> yeah, I had ch chicken, beans, fruit shoot. Had a yogurt when we got home. Yeah. We bought you yogurt home, didn't we? <coughs> so how are you? <laughs> how are you, YouTube? So are you alright? Are you alright? Right, move out the way then. Cause <coughs> I'm, yeah, that's really annoying, right into the microphone. Go watch your film. Go what on. did you say? Go watch your film. still haven't decided whether to trim these down or not I want them to be easier to hold but I'm sort of like well it's not going to stop me using them if I don't trim them down it just might make it a bit easier but then I'm like what if it doesn't what if I trim them and I hate it you know what if, what if I trim it down? I hate it. That's what I'm really worried about. 
it's got very, very it's i've just noticed that that you can't see it very well hang on let's see if i can change the focus can you see around where it says the line of blades there's lines it's not lines it's actually writing but i can't make out what it says it's so 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 i'm gonna really try and get the focus in maybe the camera can help me i can't i cannot read that and i can't hold it steady no i can't read that there's, there's definitely some kind of writing there <laughs> Yeah, so I, I wonder if I if I trim it, am I going to hate it? Mm. You know, Mum, can you do that spider no. tape? No, I can't. Go on, off you go, please. Bye. Spider tape. It's not so much that that side will be, uh, it's, it's that this won't be symmetrical. That's what will bug me. Maybe I could recover them. Or maybe I can just scan them in and print them up on cardstock that's smaller. That'd cost a lot of ink though, wouldn't it? It'd be cheaper just to try cutting them if I don't like it. Get another deck. Oops. Ah, oh, there you go. We're obviously having that one today. <laughs> oh, that's a bit appropriate. Okay, so we've pulled, or rather, the ten of wands jumped out. So, there are days when you feel like this. When you've got projects that aren't done, that aren't finished, the phone's ringing, you, you, your planner is full, it's not even midday and she is stressed, absolutely stressed beyond belief. It's all about organisation, okay? Um, you need to take a step back, take a breath and get yourself organised. Start with what is most important to you or figure out what is most important to you and start there forget about the little things the little things the shit can wait that can all wait start with the things that are most important take a breath but this is that's what this is basically telling you you're stressed you need a break everything's happening at once and you are stressed take a deep breath i don't know should i trim them down somebody said to me but then how will you know what card it is um i would have to write it because i, I otherwise i i would look at that and go um and then i would have to count the pencils because the pencils are, are the ones so you've got one two four five six seven eight nine ten which you know if i'm reading for myself it's fine but it's not very professional is it when i'm here going you know i, I would probably just write like a little 10w down and on the actual picture itself that would be the way that I would do it, I think. If I was going to do it. I'm going to... I think I'm going to end up doing it, you know. I don't know. Oh, dear. It's... It's such a big thing to do to a set of tarot cards. Well, it is for me, anyway. You know. Okay, so, um my mood <laughs> it's not really been up or down my pain is probably about the same okay sleep do 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 So from half one to half nine, it's quite a restless night from what I remember anyway. I mean it says half nine but I was awake a lot, lot, a lot earlier than that because Daryl wakes up and then just talks to me 
and it's just like dude i want to lie in this stupid thing I, i'm gonna get rid of this eventually i put it here because i thought it makes a fantastic mouse mat and it really does but yeah because it doesn't work quite so well on the glass but i'm just this it's just annoying me it lifts at the corners it comes unstuck and i'm just like i've had enough of it <sighs> right today i have done the loo and some laundry i did not vacuum downstairs though so i'm gonna have to do that tomorrow i will put the pet bowls in the dishwasher a bit later on and i'll clean the kitchen up and about uh, Okay, so today is not Wendy, it is April today. Right, that's fine, I can do that. So let's stick that in there. That in there. So yeah, so I did these little tabs, which, yeah, let me pick that up so you can see it a bit better. Can you see, it says WK125, bit all swirly and stuff because that's what I wanted to do. And um, I often wonder about using a, de you know, what's a decent pen to use? And um, everybody says Sharpies. I don't find Sharpies that great. And then I remembered ages ago when I used to use these little flags a lot in my Philo. I just use them for the TV now. Finding something that would write on those was a real pain in the ass. And nothing really worked well until I bought one of these. This is a Statler Lumo color. And these are brilliant little pens, really, really good. And they write on those and they don't wear off. And they write on these and it doesn't smudge or smear. Um, so yeah, I thought I would give these a try. So I've got a thin nibbed one. Um, well, it's not super, super thin. It's, you know, whatever. But so that's what I bought. That's what I'm doing my my labels with. It's a, ni it's a nice black as well. It doesn't fade out. So yeah, so let's jump through to today. I've not sketched out, so I'm, I'm not at all ready. Um, what did I do? Well, as you know, this was yesterday. So then I thought, well, what can I do for today? So I've got a little planner magnet there. So Daryl is getting more and more into drawing and writing um, as he's learning to read properly. And the school, it's, it's great because everything is done online. So, he doesn't have to remember to bring books home and I don't have to remember to send them all in. It's all online. But it also means he's not bringing stuff home because a lot of what he is doing is erasable. Like they, he brought home a laminated sheet of paper with his name on to practice over the holidays and a Sharpie pen and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and I use a sponge to wipe it off. So it's erased, so I'm not getting anything to keep, which is great in the fact that there's less waste, but it's not so great because it means I've got nothing to stick in my journal. So he colored this picture in for me yesterday and as you can see he's starting to have a go at writing his name so you've got d a there then there's an r and there's another r and then there's an e there and then there's an l over there and then he had a couple more goes i think he kept running out of space so yeah so i stuck this in here and i wrote a little bit about how um you know he's trying to do more and then um this little postcard that arrived from girl yesterday well i made a pocket out of this spider-man piece of paper i punched a little hole in it and i tied this um i don't exactly know what you would call it it's, it's an art yarn it's weird shit really i picked this up in a thrift shop for like a pound so yeah um i don't even know who it's by because they stuck the sheet right over the front of it salco group it's horrible it really is it's, it's horrible and i thought well you know what? it's great for art shit isn't it so it was only a pound or a dollar equivalent of so i stuck it in here i used tacky aliens tacky glue and it's mostly dried but it did not make the paper feel horrible you know so i'm just going to slide the postcard out so that it's not in the way and now right so let's see what the challenges are Yes, 2020 for that one. Adore how you look for that one. A garland and some grapefruit. Okay. I have no idea how to draw grapefruit. I want to keep that page. 
it's this that's the hard thing it's getting the segments right see I'm already over halfway and I'm not at the halfway point oh, this, this is the type of thing that winds me right up you know what? I'm not gonna fucking stress myself about it I will draw a fucking circle and be done with it At the very wobbly grapefruit. I suppose that's more a wreath, isn't it, than a garland around one? Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> that's my yeah, that's my garland. The paint has faded out some of the black. And unfortunately, I know what it's like trying to draw over paint. It's a bit of a nightmare because the nib picks up the um, gold paint and then doesn't want to work properly. That's a bit better. Now it's going to draw glitzy goldy black all the time now. Yeah, yeah I I'm not going to board around the ribbon. I can't be bothered. So there you go. That's it. I like it. Sorry, I've got an itchy arm. <laughs> um, not done much today. Uh, I took a photo of Daryl, so I think I'm going to print that up and put that in here just because it's funny. And I'm just going to leave that there. So, while this is printing and all that lot, you know the drill, as Daryl says. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, right, page, piece, pocket. I do I really appreciate it. you know that I do um, don't forget to please leave me a like down below I would really appreciate that too click the book and you will be subscribed click the bell that then appears down below and you'll be notified when I upload new content don't forget the comments and the kisses because that's what makes us happy we love comments and we love kisses thank you so so much for watching and I will be back in Sunday's edition of today in my boo journal take it easy guys <laughs>